this is Jolly All Gen Gamer here today, uh, Christopher, and here today I wanted to just show, I just got this in the mail, some uh, Amazon warehouse deals. Again, I know I said like that, <laughs> uh, that one I had a few weeks ago, two weeks or three weeks ago, uh, which was like crushed, but it still works. Uh, but I just saw some more deals and decided to get them. Well, one of them is on Amazon Warehouse deal. Uh, but before you go on the video, please be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you know when I upload new content here to the channel. And yeah, let's get started now. Now I have a few old systems where it needed RF, and I figured I saw an old video from Classic Game Room saying you could just attach these. These are like the coaxial cable adapters. You just put the bottom, if your old console has uh, the RF ready, like it doesn't have the necessary screw to screw the pin in into the uh, TV. You just put these on the back. You don't even need a RF box, like an NES, old NES box. You just use this and you're, you're set. And uh, I do have two old consoles that has that issue so i could just use this and hopefully it turns out well and it's amazon warehouse deal inspected so got that uh next one i have is uh i never i had the first game knights of the old republic for the original xbox and it's backwards compatible with the xbox one and most likely it will be for the xbox series x that's what i would want to get in the future but it's this game Knights of the Old Republic 2. I saw this back in 2012. I didn't realize this game was valuable. And it was completely in a box. And it was like 5 bucks, 6 bucks, And I didn't get it. And I um, was upset with myself later because it was selling for like, you know, 20 bucks or something. But on Amazon had it for $4.13. I'm like, I'll just take it. Yeah, at least it's a disc. I just got to clean it up. Look at this. This is use acceptable. Look at that. It's kind of, I don't know if that, I got to clean that up, but I'm going to put this in the, in the Xbox, my Xbox One, and it's, it's backwards compatible, so if I put this in, I'll be able to download uh, a original Xbox game, as long as I put the disc in, I can play it off my Xbox One, because I don't know, because in the back here, it's a little bit, it's hard to see with the, yeah, right there, there's some scratches, so I don't know if this will play an original Xbox, at least... The Xbox One, you can pop this in and we'll just download a digital copy of the game, but you need this now for the license. So that's good enough for me because I love playing Knights of the Old Republic 1, and at least this one is the sequel, and I'd like to try it out. Never got a chance to. So I got that, $4.13. And then the last one, I'm still trying to figure out if I should get an Atari 7800. Because that's the only 8-bit mainstream 8-bit console I don't have in my um, console collection. And the prices on eBay are getting to be kind of high for uh, a complete Atari 7800 with like the joysticks, the uh, AC adapter, and like the RF switch, which I don't, really, I don't really care about anyway. Because I could just use this in order to put that. As long as I have the AC adapter and the and the two controllers, I can get it for a good deal. Because I also don't really don't need the cartridges because I think there's a flash drive for the 7800. But yeah, to satisfy my 7800 craving again for 8-bit, I got the Atari Collection 2, the Evercade. And this has a good amount of 7800 games, just like the Atari Collection 1, but it doesn't have, like, all of them. So, I don't know. I just, uh, I always liked the 7800, even though I didn't really grow up. I mean, I like 8-bit era games. That's, like, how far back I would go, like, 8-bit era. I would not want to do Pong consoles really that much. The only one I have is the Nintendo brand one. The, um, uh, it is the, uh, what was that? Oh. Uh, it was like, um, oh, man. I'm filming this late. What was the term? Brick Breaker. It was, uh, you know, like Arkanoid was like that. Breakout, that's the term, I'm sorry. The Nintendo one. I don't really want to go back. I tried looking at old games, Pong games, or like like from the 19, mid-70s, like 1975, 76. They're just really 
hard on the eyes now. <laughs> I mean, I was way before my time. I just I really look at those graphics. They're they're all it was like the little go back. I would go as Atari twenty six hundred and the and sorry twenty six hundred fans, but yeah, the graphics are not good anymore. I mean, what do you expect? They're forty year old consoles, forty three year old consoles. But again, but over here I have uh, here is a seven eight hundred game. It is basketball. I like to try that. And this is more 2600 centipede. At least it looks better. Asteroids look better. I played this any hundred on uh, emulator. It was looks good. Desert Falcon. I've heard. Uh, let's see here. Planet Smashers. I'm not played. It says it's new, so maybe that's why. And actually, that is it. That's why I wish they just come out with a 700 cart instead of because this thing again it has more 2600 games than. 7800 games and again the 2600 it's playable but it's just really primitive now and it's just hard on the eyes well for me it's hard in the eyes for graphic wise to um play these games it just uh it just doesn't doesn't look good and i know atari 2600 fans are gonna get angry at the, what i'm saying but yeah i can't be the only one or I didn't grow up with the time. It's not nostalgic towards me, like I always say. So I can't, you know, the, the, I can't really say of how, um, I can't really praise, like, the 2600 all that much. I'm sorry to say. But I do respect it. Because it's a place in history. And without the 2600, there would be no, like, NES later on or these follow-up consoles and... Yeah, you got you to give props to the 2600. It's just hard to play 2600 games today in uh, 2020. Even back in the 90s, it was probably hard to play 2600 games. So anyway, that's uh, what I got, the 26 uh, Atari Collection 2. And uh, this was $24.99. I was for trying to find this, actually, is it's kind of harder to find now. I don't know if they're... On eBay, there's like only one listing. And it was like nineteen ninety nine plus six ninety nine shipping or something. That was more expensive than twenty four dollars with Amazon, and uh, I just didn't. And uh, they had also like other well, like twenty six dollars. It, it's just I don't know. I, I just thought this was a better deal on uh, Amazon uh, buying off Amazon uh, themselves. Anyhow, I'm excited and. I did solve the Atari Lynx when they're coming out for the Evercade. It's coming out at the end of November, like November, like Black Friday. So I'm going to wait until then to get... That's the main purpose I got the Evercade, so I can play 7,800 games and a good chunk of the Lynx. Because buying a Lynx is expensive, and uh, playing the Lynx, games on the Lynx today, the screen is is it's just... The resolution is bad, and uh, if you're going to do a mod, it's, it's going to go over well over 200 300 dollars which is not worth it to me uh anyhow thanks again for watching this game this turned more into like why i bought this instead of the pickup itself anyway thanks again for watching and take care i'll give an update about this when i upload when i uh don't put this in the xbox one anyway thanks again for watching and take care